स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर के एम रूपनवर फ्रॉम दूजाराम चतुर्चंदो कॉलेज बारामती टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द लास्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर ऑफ पेपर सी एच ए फाइव थ्री जीरो फोर एनालिटिकल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज केमिलुमिनेसेंट टाइट्रेशंस and from chemiluminescent titrations we have already seen the gas phase chemiluminescent titrations the gas phase chemiluminescent titrations are useful for detection of the pollutants from air the pollutants which contain ozone sulfur and nitrogen that can be analyzed by using the gas phase chemiluminescent analysis there are various reactions for oxygen nitrogen hydrogen and sulfur containing compounds the reactions involves the chemiluminescence now the next part of the chemiluminescent titrations is liquid phase chemiluminescent titrations the liquid phase chemiluminescent titrations can be useful for the chemical and bio biochemical species usually determinations are performed in the aqueous solution or in the polar solutions adenosine monophosphate that means amp and adenosine diphosphate adp have been determined by using chemiluminescent reactions with luciferase to yield adenosine triphosphate atp this is a biochemical reaction means amp plus adp it gives atp in the presence of luciferase and during this reaction the light is emitted this reaction is observed in the fire flies in marathi we can call fire flies as a kazwa means simply adenosine monophosphate reacts with adenosine diphosphate in the presence of luciferase during uh, this reaction the product form is the adenosine triphosphate and some amount of light is emitted in the form of a photon this is a chemiluminescent reaction present in the fire flea there are certain another examples of the biochemical species which observes the chemiluminescence humic acid in the natural waters has been determined by its chemiluminescent reaction with permanganate we simply humic acid from the natural water sources it reacts with when permanganate at that time there is a product formation and during that uh, reaction the chemiluminescence or the photon is emitted another example its uric acid has been determined by reaction with peroxylate same as we uric acid reacts with peroxylate there is a certain product formation and some amount of light is emitted that means the chemiluminescence is observed and all these reactions are liquid phase chemiluminescent reactions these are the examples of the liquid phase chemiluminescence here in a first diagram or first photo marine microorganisms use chemiluminescence to signal distress in this case being disturbed by the waves we simply marine microorganisms use chemiluminescence phenomena for the signal displacing when the signal is disturbed by the waves next example is an angel fish this is a angular fish trying to make a snack of merlin and dory in finding nemo the real fish is almost as scary see this diagram this fish it looks uh, so scary that and another example of the chemiluminescence is the jelly fish the jelly fish also 
shows the chemiluminescence phenomena see here this fish this is a angular fish at the antenna of this angular fish there is a luminescence observed or the emission of photon is there that's why the angular fish tries to make a sack of merlin and dory in finding nemo and the fish is so scary as seen as in the diagram then the next example or the well known example is fire fleas fire fleas use chemiluminescence to find their mates or to find their partners fire fleas use this chemiluminescence phenomena this is the reaction which observes in the body of the fire flea luciferin plus o2 in the presence of luciferase there is a formation of oxyluciferin plus co2 these are the products oxyluciferin and the carbon dioxide and light is emitted this emitted light is called as a chemiluminescent light again i uh, have told the chemiluminescence phenomenon is also observed in the jelly fish this occur this reaction occurs in the body of a jelly fish the fish body contains the photoprotein photoprotein when reacts with the calcium 2 plus at that time there is a product formation protein silentramide plus carbon dioxide and photon is emitted due to that the product is protein silentramide and the carbon dioxide and the photon is emitted so that the chemiluminescence phenomenon is observed in the body of a jelly fish in all the living organisms whom can show chemiluminescence such a type of reaction occurs in the body of the organisms this reaction occurs in the body of a jelly fish and several nitrogen compounds have been determined after reduction to no then bound nitrogen in organic compounds and nitrogen in petroleum have been similarly determined after pyrolysis and burning luminol is one of the most used reagent for the chemiluminescent acids this luminol is a very important compound for the chemiluminescent studies this is useful for the crime finding among the substances that have been determined by using this luminol are cl2 hocl ocl minus h2o2 o2 and no2 by using the luminol we can determine the various compounds like cl2 hocl ocl minus o2 h2o2 and the no2 and these are the applications in biomedical research the liquid phase chemiluminescent titrations are useful in the biomedical research as we have already seen which reaction occurs in the body of a fire flea and here are the examples or the applications of a biomedical research in a biomedical research the protein luciferin this is useful for the uh, glow which is observed in the body of a fire flea the in biomedical research the protein luciferin that gives fire flies their glow and its cofactor are used to produce red light through consumption of atp this reaction is useful for the detection of effectiveness of a cancer drugs that chuck off a tumor's blood supply means simply the biologically the reaction which occurs in the body of fire flea this is useful for the detection of effectiveness of a cancer drug that chuck off a tumor blood supply this form of bioluminescence imaging help the scientists to test drug in pre clinical stage 
with simply effect of cancer drug can be identified by using the reaction which occurs in the body of a fire flea we can use this reaction in the human being initially we have a protein luciferin luciferin gives this is a reaction luciferin gives oxyluciferin and there is a formation of carbon dioxide and light is emitted and this reaction occurs in the presence of luciferase same reaction is used in this case and uh, the another example or the another application of biomedical research is another protein aquarin found in jellyfish which produce blue light in the presence of calcium used to access calcium levels in the cells means same reaction this one photoprotein plus calcium 2 plus it gives protein selenthamide plus co2 plus h nu this reaction is useful for the accessing the calcium level in the cells and the i have written photoprotein in the reaction and this protein is the aquarin and this aquarin protein produces the blue light in the presence of calcium in the body of jellyfish same reaction is it's useful for accessing calcium level in the cells of a human body applications of the liquid phase chemiluminescent titrations in the forensic science are here already we have seen the less part of the luminol here we can you know, study the in a much detail form the luminol effect or the luminol use chemiluminescence has been applied for forensic scientist to solve crimes in this case they use luminol and hydrogen peroxide the iron from blood act as a catalyst and react with the luminol and the hydrogen peroxide means simply the heme from our body or the iron from our body which is present in the blood act as a catalyst and this reacts with the luminol and the h2o2 to produce blue light for about 30 seconds as only small amount of blood is required for chemiluminescence trace amount of blood are sufficient very less amount or very small amount of blood is required for study of chemiluminescence means luminol plus h2o2 plus iron form our body which act as a catalyst and from this reaction we can observe the blue light which is ob observed only for 30 seconds this is the luminol reaction and this reaction is useful for the crime studies this is the reaction which occurs in the body in the luminol this is a structure of the luminol here is the benzene ring nh2 is attached here double bond o double bond o nh and nh here is the base which is added and after adding base luminol forms the keto form means simply two hydrogens are lost and then the charges on nitrogen both nitrogen is minus after tautomerization we will get the enol form like this when h2o2 is added externally to the system means we have already written in the word luminol reacts with h2o2 and there is a reaction in the presence of the iron which act as a catalyst in human body and it gives the chemiluminescent reaction same when initially luminol is taken the base is added after adding base hydrogens are lost and we get keto form here is a tautomerization reaction we get enol form only bond formation here and when this oxygen which contains negative charge there is again bond formation and the uh, system 
in which the H2O2 is added externally, base is added, which is a KOH, and the K3 FeCN6 is added. Instead of K3 FeCN6, we can take the blood which contains heme. When we have added H2O2 into the system at that time, there is a formation of such type of bond, OO. And uh, the cyclic peroxide is formed here. Then the N2 is get lost and this type of structure is formed. Means bond breaks from here. This O2 which contains negative charge, there is a bond formation and the bond is broken. At that time, we will get the 3 amino phthalate. This is a phthalate structure, 3 amino phthalate and this is an excited state that is why here written star. Star means simply the component which is present in the excited state and which have which has the greatest amount of energy as compared to the reactant and the product. When amino phthalate comes to the ground state, it emits light. Structure is same here. Only energy is less. And this light is a chemiluminescent light. Means simply, luminol reacts with H2O2 in the presence of him and there is a formation of the product and the reactant and the reaction results into the luminescence and this luminescent light is called as a chemiluminescent light. This reaction is an example of liquid phase chemiluminescent titrations. This is a diagram which shows the use of luminol in the crime studies. Here the luminol is spread on the blood which is observed in the observed on the crime Places and after adding the luminol, the if there is a bl um, blood sample is present, it is made visible by using the reagent luminol. When the blood sample is present in at the crime scenes or the crime places, at that time the luminol reagent is spread on that blood. Uh, marks and the blue light is observed when blue light is observed we can say that there is a crime which is already done and this luminol is also used in the dna hybridization detection aluminol and h2o2 are used to produce luminescence in dna hybridization for following applications used for identif identification of DNA in a crime, se crime cases used for parental dispute for classification of DNAs of various organisms Means simply here we can see suppose here are the straight uh, marks of the blood or the stresses of bloods which are observed after spreading the reagent luminol from this we can identify the dna in a crime case or the use for detection of a parental dispute or use for classification of dna's of various organisms some examples of the liquid phase chemiluminescent titrations are the glow sticks the glow sticks which contains the suppose there is a container which contains phenyl oxalate and a dye and uh, the glass vial contains hydrogen peroxide. There are the reactions this diagram shows the chemiluminescence here this diagram shows the chemiluminescence See, initially the first container contains the phenyl oxalate and dye solution. This container contains phenyl oxalate and a dye. Glass vial contains the hydrogen peroxide. This inside glass vial contains the hydrogen peroxide. 
means the pipe like structure initially we have which contains the phenyl oxalate and dye inside that there is a glass vial or as a like capillary there is a structure which contains hydrogen peroxide reaction 2 produces two molecules of phenol and one molecule of peroxy acids peroxy acids decompose to carbon dioxide and releases energy which excites the dye dye relaxes by releasing a photon and wavelength is dye dependent see here exactly what happens initially take this the rod like structure or a container which contains phenyl oxalate and dye inside that this is a rod like structure or a capillary like structure which contains the hydrogen peroxide when there is a reaction two molecules of phenol and one molecule of peroxy ester forms when peroxy acid decomposes to co2 and releases energy which excites the dye and uh, after that the dye which is in the excited state relaxes by releasing a photon which emits a light and wavelength is a dye dependent means wavelength depends on the dye each dye is of different color this is all about the titrations or liquid phase chemiluminescent titrations